They came to our shores in a mixture of hope and agony. And I would not underrate the difficulties of their course once they arrived in the United States. They left behind hearts, fields, and a nation yearning to be free. It is no wonder that James Joyce described the Atlantic as a bowl of bitter tears. There are those who regard this history of past strife and exile as better forgotten. To use the phrase of Yeats, let us not casually reduce that great past to a trouble of fools. For we need not feel the bitterness of the past to discover its meaning for the present and the future. It is that quality of the Irish, a remarkable combination of hope, confidence, and imagination that is needed more than ever today.